Good morning, y'all. Today I will be doing um, basically just recording myself getting ready for work. Today I ran light PT. Um, I ran about two, two and a half miles. That's what I will usually run. I sometimes do three, four. It just depends how much time I have. I stay off base. So um, I come home, take a shower, hygiene, and I get breakfast. I'm an officer. Officers do not get meal cards, so we do not go to the DFAC. We have to fend for ourselves when it comes to breakfast. So I usually come home. Um, I get like oatmeal, cereal sometimes. If I have enough time, a lot of time, I'll make like pancakes, <laughs> eggs, sausage, with bacon, you know, whichever one. But this morning I did it really light. Um, I had eggs and some sausage, like two sausages. That was it. Um, so first, um, I just redo my ponytail. I have a spray bottle. And I use some gel. You can use any gel. Just to help lay down those edges. Hard brush. And usually I do my ponytail the night before. So even like, even running PT for a little while. But right now it's a little cold. It's like 50 degrees outside. But um, me putting in a ponytail at night and wearing a scarf, it helps it in the morning. So I'm not really struggling with it anymore in the morning. So... And luckily my hair is clean right now so I don't need that much product on my hair usually if your hair is dirty or have a lot of um, dirt or product on it it takes more for it to listen usually that's what happens with my hair my hair listens more when it's clean so So once I laid the bun, I'm gonna take me like one of the big scrunchies and put it around my bun. I think it's time for a bigger sock bun. My hair is starting to grow. So I'm either gonna buy one or make a bigger one, but it's gonna work for now. I'm going to tuck those little extra long pieces. Now, some people do this. I don't. It just depends. But some people put a scarf on. If I just lay it down with some water, some gel, I got some edge control. I don't need a scarf. You listen to me. So, I was talking with some of my battles who went to college with me. I commissioned through the ROTC program at Howard University. And um, I asked them what some key points that somebody would like to hear. So, basically, they said that I should tell you guys. Um, first off. Remember that ROTC is ROTC. It is very different from the everyday Army lifestyle. I am active duty and I can 100% say it is different. Other than it getting you ready for um, early morning for, um, formations and PT every day, it's, it's very different. Like, just remember 
ROTC is ROTC. Take it serious while you're in it. But just understand like those positions that they have and it's not going to have an impact like your brigade commander when you get to your first duty station they're not going to ask you what your position was as a senior or a junior in college i promise you they could care less so just remember that take it serious while you're in it you know build a good rapport with your leadership your commanders while you're in it but just remember rotc is rotc um it was a bit challenging trying to juggle classes and um stay in ROTC stay stay in good standing in ROTC like I had to wake up at six a normal day for me no I was staying off base so I would wake up around five commute in DC is about 40 minutes so I would get there, um, have class at 6, um, sit in that class until about 7.30, I was released. Then I'd be able to eat. Then I was a biology major, so I had labs at 8. Then on from then, like I had lecture halls, other labs, other extra court classes, courses. I probably didn't get done until 3, 4 o'clock. So I would go home probably knock out take a little nap do my work go to sleep same thing next day so i didn't have time to go through to go to the week parties like those parties on wednesdays thursdays i didn't have time for that sometimes we had field trainings on saturdays and sundays and sometimes the whole weekend so i missed out on plenty of parties but i can honestly say graduating college and being set up with an actual job I would still like if I could go back in time I would still choose this position because a lot of my friends they don't have the opportunity that I have right now who did they got to go to parties they got to go to this homecoming this or that they're not in the position that I am in right now I just put some like moisturizing cream on my face like I said it's 50 degrees right now my skin gets very dry when the weather changes so I just put some little moisturizer on my face so next I'm gonna do my eyebrows um, during the week I like to I like to have very subtle natural makeup if any at all some days I rough it up but today I'm gonna show y'all how I look when I wear my little nice settle makeup so I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I just do a little you know a little shade in I need them done but they look all right for now I'm gonna just do a little shade in that's the wrong thing so um what was I saying um being in the military for me I'm at my first duty station um it is very, it's a learning experience, but I would, like I said, I would, if I didn't have this opportunity, I don't know what I would be doing, you know, because I have a biology degree and with a biology degree, nine times out of 10, you need a bit more to go further. You need a master's, a PhD, so on, so on. So me being in the military, I feel like it's, setting me up for success i plan on going to going back to school to um further my career in medicine or biology but right now it's not my time um a normal day for me right now in the military i wake up at 5 20 I'm on base usually by 6, 10. Go to formation by 6, 20. Salute the flag at 6, 30. PT for about 30, 40 minutes. Um, usually with other officers, warrants. Sometimes with um, younger enlisted, but mostly I just run. 
Um, it all depends on your formation, your company, how they conduct PT. Some some people PT with their platoon. Um, my company is not structured that way, so I basically just PT by myself. I come home, like I said, I conduct hygiene, make me a light breakfast, and then I'm out the door back at work by nine o'clock. Usually, um, usually I'm not in the office until 1700. It just depends what I have going on that day, what all I have to do. Sometimes I'm out by 1630. It just all depends. I'm usually in meetings, running around. I am on staff, so I am um, a master at PowerPoint. <laughs> Any officer who is on staff is great at PowerPoint. If they don't want to tell you, I'm here to tell you. Um, we run reports, all that type of good stuff. So, next I'm going to do a little bit of mascara. Um, next, right now I am single. I live by myself. I'm not in a relationship. I am iffy when it comes to being with a civilian who doesn't know that much about the military because I feel like the military impacts a lot of your life. Um, with that being said, I'm also iffy on being with someone in the military. So until I figure it out, I'm going to remain single. <laughs> so I'll get back to you guys on relationship life. You know. So I was going to do a little bit of foundation. I changed my mind. Yeah, I changed my mind. I might, I'm going to do a little bit of powder. But I don't need. I don't need a foundation today. Today. It all just depends on how I'm feeling. Like, if I'm having, you know, a rough day, I feel like I have bags. People always tell me, like, oh, you don't have bags. You know, you can't tell someone what they have on their face. Because you can feel like you look like 20 cents. And somebody can feel like you look like a million bucks. But if I look like 20 cents today, then I look like 20 cents. I'll fix like one little corner on my eyebrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I said, I need my eyebrows done, but I'm liking them full right now. I'm letting them grow. So when I do get them um, um, threaded, I don't get my eyebrows waxed. I get them threaded. But when I do get them threaded, you know, I can have a fuller, more natural look. I can't find my favorite hairspray. But, of course, I have a backup. So, um, my favorite hairspray is an OGX hairspray. Wait, wait, wait. Let me back up. Let me back up. So, I feel like a lot of people, especially women of color, we don't know to use hairspray and hairspray is very helpful especially to me um maybe not to you you know i'm probably gonna get a couple of backlashes saying like oh it doesn't help me well it helps me so i decided to tell you guys um i love hairspray it holds my hair especially I don't use um, eco style anymore because it contains products I mean it contains ingredients that are not good for your hair I'm not gonna go into that y'all can look it up 
but I don't use eco style anymore so um I need because I'm using more natural products I need something that's gonna hold my hair more so my favorite hairspray is OGX mega hold um this is Pantene airspray alcohol free I like this product it does work it holds well so I just spray it on there and it smells good you know some hairsprays smell like I don't know it just I don't know but it smells good so that's what I do um, in the mornings to my face and my hair it doesn't take long at all it was about 15 minutes if that um, so like I said it's about 50 degrees it's very cold in my office so I wear a waffle top um, you can get this from like the PX most people in the military know what this is it's very warm So something that um, when I joined ROTC, I was 18, fresh out of high school, didn't know anything about the Army, let alone the military. So I got my scholarship that first year, so I had a uniform. And they really, it was kind of self-led. Like they were like, oh, Google it. How do you put in your uniform, Google it? So I want to let you guys know a little trick for any cadets or anything that are watching. So your name goes on your right side, the army goes over your heart, and the army flag is a cross. So it's not the same arm as the army, US Army patch. The flag goes opposite of the US Army name tape. So, yeah. <laughs> so US Army goes over the heart and the flag goes on the opposite arm. Okay? Alright. So don't go around looking crazy and say I didn't tell you. I'm telling you because nobody told me. So that's it. I'm about to leave the house and go on to work. It is 820. I'll be home in about... I'll be home. I'll be at work in about 20 minutes. So it's about a 20 minute commute. It takes about 10 minutes to get to the gate. No, it takes about five minutes to get to the gate. 10 minutes to get through the gate because of course it's a line. Everybody's trying to get to work. And then it takes me about five, six minutes to get to my job from the gate. So it's not bad at all. People complain about traffic on base. It's not bad. The, trust me, everybody has somewhere to go. So. All right, so that's all. Make sure you guys subscribe, share with friends, coworkers, anybody else. I also have hairstyles on my page. I will do another get ready with me. Um, if you guys want to just comment any questions you may have. Um, also follow me on Instagram, Lolita. Hold on. Also follow me on Instagram, Lolita, L-O-L-I-T-A, period, L-O-V-E-E. -E. That is my Instagram name. Um, YouTube, Combat Boots and Curls. No spaces, no underscores, no extra letters. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys another time.